shark drum lines could be operating off Perth beaches as early as tomorrow. The state government has instructed the Fisheries Department to place the shark baits in the water as quickly as possible. Perth's shark kill is imminent. I've instructed fisheries to start as soon as possible, so uh, yeah. Have they indicated to you when they... They haven't given me exact day, no. But Nine News understands it could start as soon as tomorrow. Protesters will be there too. What we will be doing is we will be having volunteer members on the water. They will be following, documenting and photographing the activities and bycatch species on these lines and they'll be exposing it to the rest of the world. But they refuse to repeat claims they'd taken bait from drum lines off Dunsborough. I'm simply not going to elaborate any more on that matter. In the southwest, no sharks on the lines this morning. It's going to get boring soon. Day four. Just one shark has been killed. The contractor says a bull shark 3.3 metres long. Protesters disagree. They claim it's a tiger shark. We are calling upon the state government to stand down the tender operator. We showed these pictures to shark expert Brad Norman. He also says it's a tiger shark. It looks to me like it's a tiger shark. Um, tiger sharks and bull sharks do have similar morphology in some ways. This has been hopelessly, hopelessly managed by the state government. Uh, here we have uh, people confused as to what sort of shark it was. Regardless, the fisherman is contracted to shoot and kill tiger, bull and great white sharks longer than three metres, which are caught on the lines, and any animals not in a condition to survive. This morning, the fisherman checked all 14 drum lines, no animals caught and some bait missing. The shark fisherman discovered bait was missing from five drum lines off the coast this morning, but protesters say they didn't take it off. The fisherman's getting paid more than half a million dollars for the 76-day contract. That's more than $5,000 a day. Matt Tinney, Nine News. So those baited drum lines will be set at 10 of Perth's most popular beaches as soon as tomorrow. Matt Tinney, the setup in different, it will be in Perth rather, will be different to the southwest. That's right, Tim. While a contractor runs the drumline operation here in the southwest, in Perth, the fisheries department will do the job. Baited drumlines will be deployed about a kilometre off these Perth beaches Ocean Reef, Mullaloo, Trigg, Scarborough, Floriot, City Beach, North Cottesloe, Cottesloe, Leighton, and Port Beach. Up to 36 drumlines will be set off Metro beaches. They'll be patrolled from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tim.